as it stands, most people agree that Sonic is the best video game movie to date. So how would Uncharted do? We got a lot to talk about. Let's jump into my review of that film right now. What's up folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing Uncharted coming to theaters February 18th. Now I know myself and a lot of people have been highly anticipating the release of this film and I don't know why as much as I've been excited about this I don't know why it kind of still like went under the radar and the next thing you know it's here like Especially when you're kind of looking at the, the films that you're looking forward to the most in, in, uh, in 2022. I don't know why Uncharted just kind of got brushed under the rug. Like, it just kind of came out of nowhere. But after seeing it, I got to say that I don't think it's the best superhero, uh, superhero video game movie of all time. Um, I still think Sonic is probably top tier. But this was damn fun. This was a lot of fun. Now, here's the thing. For the video game lovers and folks who love the franchise, you're going to love this. For the folks who haven't, I think you will appreciate this. But I also feel, on that note, this may feel a little dated. And the reason why I mean by that is that this actually feels like National Treasure with a sprinkle of Fast and Furious. And when I say Fast and Furious, I mean like Fast and Furious 5, where things were kind of like marginalized a little bit um, in terms of like the stunts and the action scenes. Um, not like eight and nine and all the other ones where they're like going into space and all that other stuff no 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 not that crazy but like national treasure with some action you know with with and with tom holland you know playing nathan drake i first of all i gotta say that tom really brings his character to life and as popular as tom is right now in terms of spider-man you truly see nathan drake in him i never once saw spider-man besides some of like the action choreography but that's just tom he was really built for a lot of these parts. He really puts his foot into these roles. And so you're going to see him really um, get into them. And it's going to look very cinematic. And you may say, oh, that's something Spider-Man would do. No, it's just probably something Tom would do at this point. Now, Mark Wahlberg as Sully here is interesting. I know a lot of people had their reservations about this casting. But I will say, and not even just the casting, but also like the appearance. Old Man Sully does eventually come to his own in this but not quite yet this sully is how we have not seen him in a video game i think he's more centered here you know more more just i don't know more natural you know it it, it feels like a character you've seen before but it's not the sully that we're accustomed to in uncharted so um you know eventually we get there but not quite yet but i do like the casting and i'm super intrigued going forward for real for real um now a character that is original to this now is braddock who is played by tati gabrielle who plays pro prudis in um the, uh, the sabrina series on netflix now on that i thought she really commands a presence in all of her scenes and i think that even when she's not saying anything you sort of just have to gravitate towards her and you know she has something up her sleeve. It's like you could almost have storytelling when she's not even doing anything. And I felt pretty much the same in this with Braddock, who is a character of maybe two other characters combined in the franchise. It's kind of where I'm going at, but completely original, but you can tell this inspiration here. Now, I will say that the character itself in the art was kind of mad. I wasn't highly impressed with it, but her performance was super good. That's for sure. She also kicked some butt as well, too. But I will say that, like, this original character, um, as as one of our villains, shall I say, in the film, um, had his moments, but overly didn't do it for me. But the performance was super good, and I thought that uh, Tati is fantastic. And much like in Sabrina, when she's on screen, she kind of commands attention, and you're intrigued on what she may do and what's next. Now, the other interesting character here is Chloe played by Sophia Ali. Now, Chloe is definitely different from the video game. Um, in this one, we kind of see her really use her appearance and her looks to her advantage. I mean, <laughs> it kind of feels like Tom, but it is Nathan, and we do know that they have future going forward, so the two of them 
and the, the two of these characters will be something to look out for um as we see them kind of really coming to our own but like in this one she's a little naive um she's also kind of working on her own in sense of like her motives like she's really she's standing on her own two feet but the interesting thing is is between nate and chloe is that there's a tug of war here like we we can tell it's like the kicking under the desk little romance getting started um because it's literally a game of chess at time or game of checkers and you know you just never know who it has the upper hand and we're going to see that be played out the entire film but it's interesting but like i said it's truly a different chloe and i like it i definitely like it but again i feel like this film and in, in is in and is entirely is really just one found a uh, one block or one of the foundation blocks going forward for what this franchise could do on the big screen and it, it's not bad it's really not bad and if you don't know what this story is about um we see tom as nathan drake um we see him when he was younger with his brother and we see how how much his brother meant to him sam and sam um left the brothers are separated and he hasn't heard from his brother in years and there seems to be a tie into his brother's disappearance and some gold and that's where sully comes along saying like hey i was kind of working with your brother and i knew how good your brother was because i worked with him and he always talked how good you were so i figured if i came and got you we can go look for this gold get filthy rich then you know etc cetera, etc cetera. maybe you can find your brother and so on so then you know that obviously motivates nathan uh drake because at this point now it's kind of like well i don't really care about the gold but i always did want to have one of these adventures with my brother and maybe if i can find my brother maybe i can have that but as we know in all these stories everyone's all looking for the gold and that's kind of how the national treasure tie comes in here because it's more of this adventurous you know search for gold with some espionage and with some you know all the all that type of stuff and whatnot now, I do think Tom's transformation into Nathan Drake was some of the best parts of it. We actually see him come straight out of the video game in some scenes. And I also thought some scenes were just straight out of the video game, which was really cool. Uh, with that being said, the visuals were, were, were good. Um, obviously, there were some visuals that looked very CGI uh, heavy in terms of it looking practically like the video game. But you expect that, and that's cool, you know? Uh, and that's why it was enjoyable because it was a video game movie so you want to have those type of connections you know um, there is a cool beach cameo scene shall I say um, if you don't know who the face is you may know the voice so I'll just leave you at that um, while I'm at that there's two stingers so definitely stay tuned for that especially the second one the second one's super important um, in terms of what may be next for this franchise looks like they may want to do more Mark and Tom work really well together. They have great chemistry, great banter, um, and they play off each other so well that it really makes the movie work. Um, but overall, like, I, the, the plot was kind of meh. I wasn't, like, so, like, invested into it, but the adventure was fun. You know, seeing where they go next and how they go and how they get there was the fun parts about it. And, like, there are plenty of illogical moments within this or points of this film where you start to think too hard it starts to become unenjoyable and i mean simply put like there's a scene where tom and another character has to use uh these certain keys in order to get into this this certain room and then something happens and then mark's character sully ends up in the room but he didn't have the keys so to me it's like well how did you get there you know and it's kind of like uh we're just gonna just skip that detail and there's like a couple of times that happens where you're kind of like i wonder how they're going to get from there to there going back to fast and furious when they had to jump buildings what if that scene was the car was in building a and the next thing you know that they showed it in building b and you was just like wait what how did that happen there was a couple of times that that happened in this where you were kind of like i see the obstacle i am very curious to see how they're going to get this done and then they just don't show it <laughs> they're just in the next spot so that's that uh, so like i said there's some inconsistencies within the plot and whatnot but overall it's still fun it's about two hours and there was a few times where i kind of looked at my watch like uh this is dragon but overall i thought the pacing was pretty good the, the, the humor um the banter um uh, and just really seeing these characters be brought to life is just a treat 
Now, again, for this being a video game movie, I don't think it's going to be in conversations for best video game movie. But I think it was pretty solid, pretty fun, a, a real kickback. Um, and just really, you know, if you're a fan of the franchise, you're just going to be like, wow, I can't believe they pulled it off. I'm not disappointed. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, and, and I think the next will be better. I absolutely think the next will be better, uh, especially with Sully really coming into true form. And then... Uh, and then Nathan Drake is just, yeah, it, it, you see him coming to true form in this film, but it still was fun. And two of them worked together really well. And I had a lot of fun seeing the two of them share the screen together. Um, but yeah, I don't have to tell you, if you're a fan of this, you're absolutely going to check this out. So no brainer. I think you will enjoy it. I think you will love it. Um, there, there, there will be things you may not like, but I don't think it's anything that you should nitpick. Like I, if I think you find negative things to really be down about on this film, then I think you missed the whole purpose of this supposedly just for this just supposed to be fun. That's just the message here. It's just fun. It's an adventure. And like when I said how I started this out when saying it's dated, it's like National Treasure already took this recipe and had success. And so if you love that, you will love this. But then this adds just a little bit more action. And when you see the action, it kind of feels like, you know, early Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious 5 is a prime example of what some of the action sequences was in here. And then, like I said, in terms of the C CGI, the, the, the complete irrationality of some of the characters and, and some of the logic behind some of the bad guys and all these type of things where you start thinking too hard, you're just kind of like, oh, I didn't like that. No, 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 no. Just have fun. Let the craziness go. Uh, kick back, have some fun, have some laughs, and then you'll be good with this. So, But again, folks, Uncharted, jump in the comments. Let me know what you think when you check it out. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon. Thank you for watching, folks.